guys, before I start my question and answer video, I wanted to first share this cute gift that Emily and her family sent to me. She sent me this cute schnauzer card. I'm not going to read it. Um, she sent me this awesome schnauzer frame with five schnauzers on it. Perfect. Now i got to find the perfect photo to go in there. Um, this cute magnet. Schnauzer Stout of Germany. Mustache required. Am I saying stout? Is that how what I'm supposed to is, is it's pronounced? <laughs> I hope so. That is so cute. And then this uh, bathroom photo with the schnauzers in the bathtub. And one not. That would be Magnum because he hates bass. <laughs> but I love it that both of the things have five schnauzers on it. This picture and the photo frame. Perfect. So I think I'm going to go sit this. Let's go see if this will sit on my new bookshelf. Even though there's no picture in it yet. Watch out. I don't have much on here. Um, let's see if it'll fit up here. Oh yeah, it fits perfect. Okay, let's back up here. I'm filling it with things I love. So there's the frame. Just got to get a picture for it. Picture of my kids, some dog books. My oil lamp collection I'm starting, which I've only got one. <laughs> I was thinking about getting some little ones and putting them like maybe here and here. Um, and I wanted to share this book I got too. It's pretty interesting. I got it at Barnes and Noble for $9. And it's called The Secret Lives of Dogs. The Real Reason Behind 52 Mysterious Canine Behaviors. This is an interesting little book. I might pass this along in a giveaway um, after I read it all. Then I got a couple um, chicken soup for the soul um, dog stories. And oh my goodness, some of them are so funny. Some of them will make you cry. Um, I love those books. So, and then I thought about, I'm just going to add to my oil lamp collection here. This is a candle holder, but I'm going to add to that right here, I think. When I have money. <laughs> like I said, I'm on the search for some old metal ones. Um, and... If I get some birthday money from my mom, who always gives me birthday money, and my mother-in-law, I may go see if that one is still there. I'm like praying it's still there at this place. Um, but my birthday's not till the 17th, so. <laughs> but I'm going to keep thinking that that is mine and it's still going to be there um, when I go back. So, all right. So, and I also wanted to say um, thank you to um, Adam. On my Patreon, he upgraded from a pledge of $5 to um, $10 a month. So now he's able to see photos that I post on my Patreon. There's my magnet on the fridge now. Um, photos and the videos I post on my Patreon, which those photos and videos are only on Patreon. So if you pledge on there, um, $5 or $10, $5 you get to see all the photos. Uh, if you pledge $10, you get to see the photos and the short videos I post on Patreon, which are videos I don't post anywhere else. They're not on YouTube, um, anything like that. So, and I also wanted to say thank you to Juan for pledging $10 on our Patreon account. Thank you so much, you guys. Every little bit helps for me to reach that goal uh, for my emergency fund this year. I'm thinking about making like a little uh, poster board a visual even just for me of where I started at the beginning of the year and how much I how, how much it's growing um, from our YouTube and our Amazon store and our Patreon. So I appreciate you guys so much for helping us out. So let's get to the questions and answers. Magnum. Magnum? What you doing down there? What you doing? Okay guys, let's get to your questions. I took a couple of questions off of Facebook and off of Instagram. There was quite a few, so what I'm thinking of doing is doing these ones today and then um, doing another video next week um, with other questions. And if you have any questions, if you leave them in the comments below, I'll get to those too. So what I'm gonna do is just like break them up into smaller videos so the video isn't too long and boring. <laughs> so um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get everybody's questions. Unless I will say that I do not answer questions about breeders because I get too many negative 
comments and reactions about talking about breeders. So those are the only questions that I will not talk about um, in these videos or answer, I should say. So the first question is from Gina on Facebook. Do any of your boys have allergies? Yes, three of my boys have allergies, Max, Marley, and Miggy, and they all take Apoquel for those allergies. I tried to take them off uh, Apoquel in the winter, thinking maybe it was just um, outdoor, like grass, um, or certain things in the summertime, spring and fall, but they have allergy problems all year, so I'm thinking they're allergic to dust mites, which most dogs are allergic to dust mites. So, they take Apoquel all year long, one pill a day, for their allergies. Uh, Patty on Facebook, have you ever had any problems with the boys nipping at people? Um, no, I do have problems with them when there's young children that come over to my house. Um, for some reason, they don't like little kids. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Um, they just don't like little kids and they'll growl. They've never bit at anyone ever. But I get really uncomfortable how they're getting uncomfortable and anxious with these little kids running around. So what I do is put them in their crates. And that's where they'll stay out. I turn on the radio in there, the clock radio, for some music for them. So it kind of distracts them from what's going on in the house and they just stay in their crates until the kids are gone because I don't want any problems. I don't think they would bite them, but they get very nervous and anxious when there's little kids around. Okay, Deborah on Facebook said, do you ever express their anal glands? No, I do not express their anal glands and my vet told me if they do not have problems expressing their anal glands on their own, that you should not ex have them expressed because then they will have problems um, expressing their anal glands on their own. So I do not do that. I also do not pluck their ear hair. I just trim it with scissors um, because if they, do, my vet told me if they don't have problems with ear infections, that you don't need to do it because by doing it can cause problems with ear infections. So since my dogs, I do clean their ears with white ear wipes, clean them and trim the hair down, but I do not pluck them either. Okay. Um, Caroline on Facebook asked, did the device you bought to stop the barking help? It helped with four out of five dogs, and it's the handheld Sonic Egg, and I'll put a link down below. I believe it's also on our Amazon store. Um, it helped with everyone but Magnum. <laughs> he don't care. He continues to bark. And he's the one I mainly bought it for. <laughs> yeah, so it helped with four out of five dogs, which I think is pretty good. And it says right on there, it may not help. It may not affect every dog and um, get them to stop barking. But Magnum, he's his, you know, he's just a barker. <laughs> okay, um, Debbie on Facebook, what clippers do you have or use? Um, I use the Andis Ultra Edge Clippers. And I'll also put a link for that down below. And I believe it's also on our Amazon store. Those are the clippers I use and I love them. I've never used any um, other clippers. I do have the little peanut trimmer that I use for their paws and their, around their butt. Um, but the Andis Alter Edge is what I use for the main part of the body, and I love them. Okay. Miranda on Facebook asked, what type of dental treats do you use to keep your pup's teeth clean? Um, we use, they eat, uh, we give them bully sticks. Um, they're great for getting uh, their back teeth, and they're great for them to chew on to get that tartar build up and just work their teeth. And I also give them, oh, there's one left in here. These dental treats. Let me show you what they, no, you're not getting a treat. They all ran out here because I opened that jar. <laughs> um, these right here, this is what they look like. They're kind of porous, so when their teeth go in a minute, it's supposed to help clean their teeth. And these are by, let me get the bag. Hold on, guys. Do I have a bag up here? 
No, I don't. Let me go downstairs and get a bag. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back from the basement. <laughs> I have, and they're knocking my table all over. Um, here they are. They're by Purina. And they're called Dental Life Daily Oral Care Dog Treats. This is what I get them. I get them the size uh, small to medium. So those have been working great. Um, if you watched my sorry, I'm out of breath, running up and down the stairs. I'm gonna have to give them one after I'm done videotaping. I'll give you guys one in a minute. Okay. Um, let me catch my breath. I like ran down the stairs and ran off. Okay, and the dogs were the dogs were running behind me and running and then running back up behind me. I thought I was gonna fall. <laughs> um, so. If you watched my video, I took Miggy to the vet um, a couple days ago, and I was nervous about him looking at Miggy's teeth, and because he's the one who had the most, I believe it was 17 teeth. Oh gosh, I can't remember exactly how many he had removed when he had his dental last year, but it was quite a few teeth, and um, his was the worst. Uh, with the gingivitis and everything so he had a lot have a lot of teeth removed and he looked at his teeth and said whatever you've been doing his teeth look wonderful so bully sticks which cost we spent about a hundred dollars in bully sticks a month um if you've been watching my expen uh when i do my expenses about a hundred dollars a month in bully sticks and then these uh treat these dental treats i give them um, every other day now because my boys were gaining some weight because of the cold uh, winter we don't walk them under a certain temperature and they weren't getting walked much because we've had terrible cold spells and they were gaining weight um, so I had to cut back their dog food and I was giving them these um, once a day now I'm giving them them one every other day so so that's what I give them and it's hard to brush your teeth I do but you just don't get it as good as when you're brushing your own teeth what, what they will let me do so I believe the bully sticks mainly the bully sticks have helped tremendously with their teeth so the only one that hasn't had teeth removed is Max he's had all his other health problems but no teeth removed so he's got good chompers okay um, Babs on Facebook, do your boys have separation anxiety? As you saw in my one video where I took Miggy to the vet too, Magnum has separation anxiety. When I take one of the other boys and he knows it, um, out of the house to go to the vet, he cries, cries, cries. Um, but besides that, if they're all left here in their, um, crates and we go out to do stuff, they just go right to, you know, they take a nap. They don't cry, nothing. It's only if they know someone else is going out of this house and they're not going. That's the only time. Um, Sharon on Facebook, do you ever take any of the boys into stores? Um, I do occasionally, not very often. Um, sometimes I'll take them to PetSmart, sometimes uh, to Family Farm and Home. But that's it. Um, I think I've taken just a maybe, maybe, I mean, I could count on my hands how many times this past, uh, in 2017 probably that I've taken the dogs to the store. Um, I don't usually because even though my boys get vaccinated, there's other things that dogs can catch that your dogs may not be vaccinated for. Like this flu that's been going around. My dogs aren't vaccinated for that. I don't even know if they have one, do they? Leave me a comment if they do. I'm not sure. But I don't want my dogs um, getting sick. Because if you've noticed, dogs pee poop, pee and poop in the stores. Um, and sometimes it's not cleaned up right away. You may miss it. Your dogs walk in it. You know, you don't know how these things get transferred to other dogs and make them sick. So usually I do not take them. And if I do, I take a little uh, a blanket or a little dog bed or something to put in the cart and they sit in there. I don't let them walk around on the floor usually when I take them. So, um, let's see here. 
Okay, these are questions from Instagram. And this is from Simon Alin. Simon Alin. Um, do you ever get any time for yourselves to spend together as a couple? I'm assuming she's talking about my husband. <laughs> and yes, we do. My kids stay home and watch the boys. My husband and I can go out, go out to eat, go do things. Um, if we're going together as a family, if we're going to be gone longer than, say, six, seven hours that they have to be in their crates, my mother-in-law or my mom, somebody comes by and sits with the boys, lets them out for, you know, they come over for a couple hours, let them out, feed them if we're gone during the feeding time. Um, so yes, we do get time and um, my husband and I this past summer went to Tawas, Michigan and spent the weekend. My daughter didn't have to work that weekend. So she stayed home and took care of the boys. So we got a weekend away. So yes, we do get to um, uh, spend time away together um, and not have to worry about the boys. Um, this is another one from Instagram. Schnauzer Love Harley asked, do you possibly want to breed schnauzers? Why or why not? No, I don't. I have no interest in it. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I guess the why not would probably just be that I would want to keep them all. <laughs> I would want to keep all the babies, even though I don't have any girls. I would probably want to have one of the litters and stuff, and I don't need it anymore. So. No, I, I don't have any interest in it. Um, and then Brie Robinette 567 on Instagram asked, how do you keep your dog so calm while you bathe them? Um, I didn't really do anything specifically. Um, when I do, when, when they were puppies and I give them baths so though, I constantly talk to them, pet them, sing to them. <laughs> which I'm sure my family just loves, <laughs> but I mean, I would sing to them. Um, I think maybe that's it. Just let them know that they can trust you, um, talking calmly to them. And, um, I guess I could, that's the only clear answer I could give. That's the only thing I've really done, um, to make them not get too, you know, anxious about getting a bath. So, okay. So that's all the questions for this video. Um, like I said, I'll probably break them up into, uh, and I'll answer some more questions that I had on my Facebook and Instagram and do them on another video next week. So if you have a question, leave them in the comments below. I know I'm probably repeating myself. I notice when I watch videos back that I repeat myself a lot or I don't finish my sentences because I'm thinking all this stuff and I'm just spitting it out and I, I miss things I want to say. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, I know I can't bring this bag down and show people your bones and not give you one, right? Okay, let's come sit out here. Let's come sit out here. And I'll give you your bone. Okay, can everybody... Oh, okay, sit down. Sit. Okay, everybody needs to calm down, okay? Okay, every... No. <laughs> everybody calm. Okay. There's the Miggies. Okay, sit. Mozzie. I noticed if I say their name, sit down. If I say their name, they won't try to go after the other dogs. Marley, well, I'm wrong. Magnum, you're proving me wrong. <laughs> Don't say stuff uh, on camera because you'll always be proven wrong. <laughs> Especially with these dogs.